What's going on in the internet land? It's your girl, you know who, what another, you know what, for your viewing pleasure. Yes, that's right, it's your girl, Sean, from SeanPerryman.com, with another live afternoon tea with Sean P. What's going on up there, Facebook land? I can see I'm live now, I'm waiting for Facebook to build my audience. So I know they're shouting out and sending out this little ping to let people know that I am uh, live at this present moment. And they tell me that they're still spreading the word. So what's going on, everybody, today? What's everybody up to on this beautiful Thursday fall day? It is actually nice here today. It's a little cloudy, um, but the trees are shining. The trees are bright and changing colors. Sun comes in and out. I'm not sure about that, but it's still nonetheless a beautiful day. So what's going on today? What do you guys got planned for today? What have you already done today um, in your business? Let me know. Let me know what's going on while Facebook is still out there spreading the word. Let's see what you got going here. Let's see. Yep. All right. It's still out there spreading the word. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, and I hope if you come in a little later as I'm... Um, doing this broadcast that you will go back and play the beginning of it so one of the things that i want to try to start doing and trying to be more consistent is to really kind of do these uh afternoon teas on a daily basis really kind of bring some value um to the marketplace so you know before we get started just a quick um fyi that pretty much every week every day how often i decide to shoot these two or three days a week maybe I'm going to be sending a uh, shout out to other great entrepreneurs who are doing some great things in this um, amazing um, world of entrepreneurship. So today I actually want to shoot out a good friend, not even friends, family, basically. Um, I want to send a shout out to um, T and C, excuse me, T and Sue over at Exeter, Exeter 9 to 5. They do a live broadcast every Friday. Be sure to check them out. I'll make sure you can uh, download their podcast on iTunes as well. And I'll make sure I drop that link in the comment section at the end of this video. So to T and Sue, a big shout out to you guys for doing what it is that you continue to do to inspire and to strive those who are ready to leave their 9 to 5 with the tools and tips that they'll need in order to be successful in their business. All right. So now that we got that out the way, want to talk about today's question. I had a question for you, and that question is, do you understand your economic power? Now think about that. Do you truly understand your economic power? Do you understand your money and how powerful your money is? Not only to those who you give it to, but to yourself. So we're going to kind of uh, dive into this topic a little bit. And, you know, listen, I don't know if you've been hiding under a rock or something, but the world is crazy right now. What's going on, Wanda? Thanks for tuning in. The world is really crazy right now. The politicians are crazy. Everybody's losing their mind. And, you know, they're always telling us how to spend our money, what we should spend it on, how we should spend it. You know, that could be, you know, credit cards and, you know, getting things, you know, now rather than later, that kind of self-gratification. And one of the things that we wind up doing is, is we wind up getting into debt. What's up, D? We wind up getting into debt, and then we find ourselves we can't get out. You know, we get up every day, we go to our nine to five, If you know, for those of us who are still working, and we're going to a job that we truly, truly hate. But we don't see any way out because why? We got to pay the bills. And on top of the regular expenses, like, you know, your, your mortgage, your rent, lights, gas, heat, all of the other good stuff, then you have this mountain of credit card debt that you can't seem, you just can't seem to get out of no matter what it is that you do. And so, you know, we, we always wind up saying, hey, we're broke. We wind up having more months than we do money. Um, you know, but what I discovered with just a few uh, tweaks, hey, Jessica, what's going on, Miss Detroit? What I found out is with a few, tw uh, with a few uh, tweaks, here and there, you can really change your economic situation. However, the one thing that we must be is disciplined. And being disciplined, not only in our finances, 
but we also have to be disciplined as entrepreneurs. You know, there's tons of things that we need to do on a day to day basis. And so we truly do need to be disciplined in getting those those tasks done. And our, ec our economic situation, our money, our finances, it's no different. We have to find a way to be disciplined in doing what we do. And I've discovered a way to give myself a pay raise without asking my boss, just by a simple tweet, folks, a simple tweet. So let me share this with you. Let me ask you a question. Would you rather be a consumer or would you rather be an owner? Now let's think about that for a minute. A consumer basically just purchases things. They never really own it. They just kind of purchase it. You know, whether it's a new coach bag, new Louis Vuitton, new shoes, whatever it is. You know, it's something that they want. They may not need it, something that they want. And they go out and buy it. Because why? They say, hey, I've worked. I've been working. I deserve to treat myself. Now, I'm not bashing anybody because I've been there myself. A lot of things that I do, you know, I'm sure people may see me go on vacation all the time. But trust me when I tell you I've, I've been working and, and putting some something extra aside. Um, but, you know, being a consumer, you just really kind of, you purchase things. You know, you get the latest sneakers that are out. You get the latest J's. You get the latest this, the Le LeBron's, whatever it is. You're getting those things. And there's nothing wrong with that. But let me share something with you. Let me share another thought process with you. What if you became an owner of your of your own business? What if you became an owner of some stock in Jordan or some stock in Nike? What what would happen if you started to own some things and to have some true assets? Those things that would really yield you some great money in the end. You know, and so we really have to change our mindset and our way of thinking when we talk about our, our economy and, and, and our money. We got to find a way to shift that a little bit and, and start to really put some money away. Because here's what my grandfather used to say to me all the time. He used to say, you know, Sean, you need to go to school, get a good education, get a good job. And then, you know, hey, retire at 65. Well, I tell you what. That doesn't always work. And most jobs now, you're lucky if you're there. Forget 10 years, even 5 years at that point. And so we really got to find a way to uh, really kind of become more, more owners, more business-minded, and to create our own economy. Because I'm telling you, what's going on out here in the world today, if we're just relying on one job and one source of income, we are all doomed, and we're doomed fast. So what do I mean when I say become an owner? You know, get a home-based business. What, you know, do you have a passion? Whatever your passion may be. Your passion may not be my passion. My business may not be for you. And that's okay. That, that It truly is. It's okay. If you decide that you don't want to join me in what it is that I'm doing and trying to help empower the world, that's not a problem. But whatever you have deep down inside of you, Whatever those things were that you thought about when you were a little kid, oh, I want to be this, or oh, I want to be that, or I want to do this, or I want to, whatever it is, then turn, try to figure out how to take that passion of yours and turn it into some kind of profitability for sure. Um, that's wonderful, Wanda. I hear you. I'm retiring myself on my, on my own terms for sure. I hear you. And that's what we got to do. We got to be able to put that money away so that we can live the lifestyle that we truly want to live. We don't want to retire after working a job and have to go back part-time to working somewhere else just so we can have a little fun. You know, we, we, we don't really want to do that. I mean, I know I don't. For me, I just want to get up and I want to travel the world. I want to see the world. I want to see what's out there. And I want to do those things on my own terms. I don't want, you know, to have to only have a week for, a week's vacation or ask my boss if I can take an extra week without getting paid. I don't want to do that. So what I'm doing is, is that I'm creating a lifestyle from home, a lifestyle that will afford me, um, a, a, a business that will afford me the lifestyle that I choose to live. You know, being able to, here it is, 12 o'clock on a Thursday afternoon, I'm home as I shoot this live video. My son has a play tomorrow, um, and I'm able to go to that because I decided to take my own economy into my hands and do something about it. Now, I may not be exactly where I want to be right now, but what I do know is, is that I'm on the right path to where I need to be. Working for myself has been an amazing, amazing adventure. 
some good, some bad. We fight. We go back and forth. Am I crazy for doing this? But listen, if you have the desire to want to do something different, then do it. And don't let anybody stop you. You know, I look at entrepreneurs on my page. Our friends, I got friends right here watching this live feed. Jessica and Wanda, who are doing some amazing things, too, in their business. Wanda's writing books and sharing her experiences with people. Jessica's doing boot camps and telling us all the things that we need to know in order to have successful businesses. I mean, everybody's out here really working and living in their, living in their, living their dream. And my question for those who aren't is why not? Why not? If you have a nine to five, what I'm, I'm not saying just give it up tomorrow and quit and says I'm going to start my own business, but let that money help you finance your dream. Let that money help you finance your passion, whatever it is. You know, I teach people a few economic strategies about how to simply change your W-4 and give yourself a pay raise. But the interesting part is, is that a lot of people aren't even willing to look at the information. Because why? There's a fear. I'm so used to getting this paycheck every week. What's going to happen if I don't get this? What, what, you know, start with the coulda, shoulda, wouldas and start investing in you. Believe in yourself. Believe that you can do this. Simple tweaks, folks, just little things that can change your economic power. But you got to remember that the most important person that you could ever invest in, besides, you know, if you have kids and, and a husband or whatever, but the most important, important person you can invest in is you. That's it. Invest in you. Be willing to invest in you. Because trust me, here's the thing about investing in you. You're worth it, folks. I, I need you guys to get that. You are truly worth it. Whatever it is that you want out of life, go for it. Don't let anybody stop you. Don't let anybody tell you that you're crazy. It, well, kind of, uh, because as entrepreneurs, we're, we're, we're a little crazy. We're, but I like to call us different. We're just different. Our mindset is different. And but we're constantly growing that mindset and connecting with others who have that same belief and mindset and telling us that we too can do whatever it is that we want to do. So don't let anybody stop you. I don't care how crazy it might seem to somebody else. God didn't give that vision. God didn't give that plan to someone else. He gave it to you. So if that's what it is, then you go ahead and do it. You know, but put in the time. You know, we can get up and we can go to a job every day like I said, and we hate it, and we're not feeling it, and then we come home and we don't work on our passion. But trust me, we're worth it. Yes, you're absolutely right, Jessica. We are worthy. We definitely are. We're worthy. We're all worthy of living that life and having the lifestyle that you want to live. So here's what I encourage all of us to do. I encourage all of us to sit down and have a talk with yourself and ask yourself, what is it? that I'm passionate about and write it down. Start to create a vision board around that. Don't know how to create a vision board? Don't know what a vision board is? No worries. I did a video about it. I can, act, I can actually put that in the comments as well. But start to create a vision for yourself. Where do you see your life? What is it that you want to do? Find other ways to get the income that you want. And sometimes it doesn't have to be getting a second job. Because here's the thing. You know, everybody wants to get a second job. I'm going to get another job, get another job. And listen, I'm not knocking that. However, there are advantages to having a home-based business. Now, let's talk about going out and getting that second job. You go out and get that second job. You get up at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the morning. You're running here, running there, taking, get, taking care of the kids or whatever. You get off your job at 5. Now you got to be to work the second job at 6. You got to work until 9.30. I mean, and the cycle just goes on and on. And guess what? At the end of the day, you're tired. But having a home-based business, think about this. You're already paying the mortgage. You're already paying the light bills. You're already paying car insurance, or all these things that you're already paying, lights, gas, heat, hot water, whatever it is, you're paying all of these things. But do you know having a home-based business allows you to itemize those things and use them as deductions? The cell phone that I'm using right now is a deduction because I'm using it for business. And so that's what I mean about understanding your economic power, folks. 
I'm going to break something down to you before I get up out of here. Let's just say that you're on a job and you make $50,000. Okay? That's your yearly salary. What's up, Trisha? What's going on? Thanks for tuning in. So you made $50,000. And let's say the tax bracket is 25%. So that's going to tax you 25% on your $50,000. Here's what having a home-based business does for you. It says to you, as having a home-based business, that you now can deduct the space that I have right here that I'm using, my desk that's set up in my living room for my business, my cell phone, my lights, my mortgage, my rent, gas, heat, whatever it is. I can now take those, among many other things, and use it as a deduction towards my taxes. So now, let's just say in any given year, let's just say I, I just started. And let's do my, my new business. And let's say I went out and I bought a new, a new laptop, a new printer, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff that I need in order to get my business up and running. Um, so now I, 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 bought all, I bought all those things, but now guess what? I can write them off. So at the end of the year, let's just say I had $10,000 worth of expenses. And these are just examples. It's just kind of rough draft. I had $10,000 in expenses. And I made 50 for my job. But guess what I can do with that $10,000? I can now write that off. So now I'm going to get taxed on. What's up, Keith? I'm going to get taxed on $40,000 versus $50,000. And that $40,000 may put me in a 15% tax bracket as opposed to a 25% tax bracket. So that's what I mean about understanding your economic power, folks, understanding what you have in front of you. And as I stated earlier, if my home based business is not for you, that's fine. It's OK. It really is. But my suggestion to all of us is, is to get you one. You know, having a home based business truly does have its advantages. And depending on what your home based business is. What's up, Kathy? What's up, Marcia? How you doing? Depending on what your home based business is. um. You know, you can you, you can make a lucrative uh, income from that and, and be from the comfort of your own home. You know, when I get when I go to, out to travel and do other things, I don't have to ask anybody to take time off. I don't have to ask anybody. Is it OK if I leave early? Because why? I'm my own boss. And yes, that sounds good. But you also got to be disciplined. You got to get those things done in a day that need to get done. You got to be able to connect with people. You got to be able to get those blogs. And if that's what you're doing, or do the training, whatever it is that you need to do, you just need to do it. But what I want you guys to understand is I want you to understand your economic power. I want you to understand how you can take your money and give yourself a pay raise just by a simple tweak. Want to know what that tweak is? Hit me up, drop a uh, comment below after this video, and I'll share it with you. But just a simple tweet, and you can now give yourself a pay raise and start to pay off your debt. Get out of debt and become debt-free and live the life that you want to live. Start to build that retirement fund so that when you are ready to retire, because somebody said this to me a long time ago, that age, that retirement is not about age. It's about money. It's about the number. And so if you have the money to retire, you can retire at the age of 50. It doesn't matter. But we have to learn. We have to be willing. We have to be open. We have to change our mind, our way of thinking about our money. Because at the end of the day, it is our money. And we need to do something different with it. It's okay if you you know, want that coach bag and, and you can't afford it right now. Save up for it. And I know for some people, it's like, no, I don't want to do that. I just, I just, I need it right now. But do you really need it or do you just want it? Because that's the difference. There's a difference between need and want. So listen, folks, that's kind of my afternoon tea with Sean P for today. Again, I just want you to understand your economic power. You want to know what I'm doing to tweak my business, tweak my income, and give myself a pay raise? Again, comment below. Hey, Trish, I see now you get my notifications. That's what's up. Glad, glad, glad for that. Um, hit me up. You want to know about more about my travel business, more about my financial business, whatever it is that I'm doing, then hit me up. Let's talk. 
I'd be more than willing to show you how you can build an income from home. And here's what I say to people too. You know, before I close out, people always say, oh, I can't, you know, I can't sell. I can't do this. I can't do that. Let's first of all, eliminate the word can't from your vocabulary. You know, that's the first thing. Let's let, let's get rid of the word can't. And understand this. You can do it. Because here's the thing about what, you know, network marketing and people say MLM companies. Here's, here's the thing. And, and I'm going to give you this quick example. Then I'm going I'm to get out of here for real. But you go to a good restaurant or you go to see a good movie. And you tell somebody about it. Let's say, for instance, you go to see Tyler Perry's new movie. And you come back and you tell me, hey, Sean, you should go see that movie. It's really funny. It was a great movie. Guess what you just did? Network marketing. You just shared Tyler Perry's movie. You recommended his movie to me. Here's the difference. Tyler Perry didn't pay you any money to refer me to that movie. But when you join a network marketing company, you get paid for referring someone else to that business. Now, that sounds like a pretty good plan to me. I don't know about you, but you mean it to me. I can get paid for sharing something with, some, with somebody as opposed to not getting paid? Again, think about it. Economic power. Empowering yourself to have more money in your pocket if that's what you so choose to do. So listen, folks, that's it. I just wanted to drop that into your spirit today. Let me know what you thought of today's video. Feel free to share this with, with your uh with your friends if you got any value out of today's post. Until the next afternoon tea with Sean P. This is your girl Sean from SeanPerryman.com signing off. Peace.